Hello, uh, I'm Ulf and welcome to Hoborek Bull Sessions. Uh, today I'm going to tell you about a neat little standalone program for Cubase that has been the most revolutionizing thing for my workflow in a very long time. So the program I'm talking about is called Multi-Region Exporter for Cubase and what it does is basically letting me export multiple regions in one Cubase project. I'm usually working on albums and artist projects in one long project as I think a lot of people do. If all the songs has the same basic foundation it makes the mixing a lot easier and like skipping back and forth in, in songs and stuff like that. Uh, earlier I used to work in separate project files for each song but it was always a hassle to like export and import uh, settings and uh, loading and closing projects whenever I had to skip between songs. There is still one thing though that's kind of a pain in the ass uh, even though I do it in one project and that's when it's time to export the mixes because I have to export one song and wait for it and uh, then export the next one and it usually takes about uh, two or five minutes depending on the complexity of the mix and then I have to do the same thing again. It may not sound like a huge problem but what happened, at least with me, is that I start reading or checking my phone and all of a sudden I just forgot about what I was doing and uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes later I just uh, realized that oh it's time to export the next song. This way it just takes off a lot of time. Sometimes I work from home with some mix fixes and project exporting and stuff like that. Once my girlfriend asked me if we can like go out and do something while I was exporting, I said no. I can't because I have to sit here and wait for each song to export. She then replied that it's fucking stupid that there ain't no way to automate that. Of course I couldn't argue with that, I agreed. I spent some time googling and I found a multi-region exporter for Cubase. If at any point I would think that a plugin or a software was worth every penny it costs, I think this would be one of those times. But hey, it's free and open source uh, for anyone who would like to, to like make it work for, for their DAW or any other DAW. I do think that Reaper has sort of this feature already in the program, so maybe in the future I should just get the thumb out of my ass and learn Reaper, but for now this is the way I'm gonna do it. The program was created by a Danish guy called uh, Jakob Andersen and uh, it's available for download from his website. He created a program for himself as he was making a lot of foley sounds for, for a video game. I can really feel his frustration. I also really appreciate that he took the time to make this program and I'm really happy he decided to share it. And here's how it works. In Cubase you make a marker track if you haven't already. Um, make marker cycles with start and end points exactly where you want your exported songs to start and stop. Name those cycles to something fitting. Perhaps the song titles or whatever you want. Uh, select the market tracks and go to export selected tracks. This will become the XML file with the track information. So you could call it like track information. Then export the whole project as one long audio file. It's important that you export from the zero point of the project. Otherwise the next step won't work properly. Now this might take some time to export this long file if it's a large project, but now I don't have to sit around and wait for each song to export, so this means I now have time to do other important stuff. <laughs> when that's all done, it's time to open up the multi-region exporter program. Here it's really straightforward. You just load your audio file, load the XML file with the track information, make sure everything seems alright, no warnings and stuff like that. Then hit output audio files to folder and choose where you want stuff to end up and there you go. It's all done. Easy. As I said this is the greatest thing that happened for my work in a long time so again thank you very much Jakob. Uh, also thanks to you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, also go to hoborec.com and sign up for the email list to get some uh, like free download stuff and information about upcoming events. Take care and uh, see you next week. Yeah.